Hello everyone. Today I want to show you how to convert the you know the user ID from the on-premise user ID to the cloud-only user ID. Let's simulate. You know how can we do this? I just uh, log into the domain controller on-premise and then I create a user account. If I go to the user, okay, create this user account test space P two O two, and this is you know user principal name. Test dot p two o two at ccq twenty twenty dot com dot au and then after I create this user account I just run this you know command to force start you know dash a b sync sync cycle space policy type data so when I run this one we see this user ID is synchronized to the cloud now and on premise is here so. Now what I want to do is I just uh, you know on the in order to convert to the you know cloud on cloud only user ID I need to delete this account from on premise so just delete it. So after I delete this user account and then I run the command again to force synchronize to the cloud. So let's see what happens on the cloud. If I go to this cloud identity console and then I refresh, it takes some time. So if I go this So you see, when I uh, go to the all users, you know, in the identity console, if I search for the user again, I see there, refresh. So you, you see the, the, you know, this one is, is deleted from this all users console. If you go to the delete users, users and then we see this user is in the deleted deleted users or you you know folder now. So what we want to do is we just want to restore we restore the user because we have already deleted the user from the you know active directory users and the computers you know in on premise. So in the cloud, it uh, you know. When we run the command to force synchronize to the cloud, it, it because this user was deleted on premise, it just uh, both the users the deleted users, you know, folder now. So what we want to do is to restore the user. If I restore, select this user and restore. So we restore the user successfully. Let's refresh. So if I go now go to the all users folder and then we check this P2. Now we see the difference. When we restore the user in the specific files, we see on premise is no. This means you know this user ID is converted to the cloud only user ID now. So we successfully converted the user to the you know from the on-premise user ID to the cloud only user ID. That's all I show you for one user. And also our my colleague has asked me because the you know the A B sync is not working. They wanted to convert all the users, you know, in the for example if I go there. You see all the this are the users on premise. Because the AB sync is synchronized all the user to the cloud. So, because the uh, address connection is not working on premise, you know, server, they want to all the users, you know, to change it to the, you know, to the cloud only user ID. Let's see how can we do this. Normally, in order to do this, we need to, first thing we, I want to show you is because if we go to the, Identity management console, we click show all, and then we click uh, the hybrid management, and then we click uh, uh, Microsoft Azure Connect, and then we click connect 
thing. We see the synchronous data the delay for show the delay for. So we want to do you know this one should be used to be disabled because we we know the async is not working on memory. So what we need to do is we need to go there. Now currently show the disabled. We need to install the model for MS online and then we run the command to you know connect dash MS OAR service. So when we run this command, it asks us to input the global administrator user ID and password. And after that, we need to run this command, set dash ML MSOL DIR, sync labeled space dash labeled DIR sync to four. This means, what this means, you know, it's just that, you know, because I show you this one was disabled, we want to disable it, so we just run this command to set it to four. After this set it to four, it will, you know, pop up, ask you to confirm, you know, default is yes, we just click yes, and then if we go back to the AD admin, after we run this command, it show if we go to admin dot dot com, we show the sync status. It will show all the users to be cloud only. Show the only cloud only the sync status here. And uh, we may need to wait for some time and also after this some time and then we refresh the identity management console. We see the on premise system is all here to go. That's all we want to know. We want to achieve we want all the users, you know to convert it to cloud only so all the on-premise still shows to go now and uh, if we go to the identity you know go to show then you go to uh, Microsoft SQL connect then you go to connect sync we see the you know the AD SQL connect sync shows model is stored because we run the command so shows model is stored so in order, you know, this is for the case all the because the AD sync is not working, we want to convert all the users to the to the you know cloud only account. That's what we need to do. But you know, uh, in order to change it back, you know, we want to sync it because uh, we we want to you know enable the AD sync. We just run this command again. But I need to wait for some time because the this is you can't just run this immediately because you, after you run the AD sync, enable a DR sync to four, you need to wait for some otherwise you'll get error message. So I did run this last night. So today this uh, you know I run this to change the two now and then I get this you know this interface. So this one is just enabled. So that's all I show you, you know, how to you know convert one user to the Cloud only or convert all the users to cloud only. So, thank you.